best pound for pound fighter going. Live from Las Vegas, here we go. Here we go, gentlemen. Roach predicted the third round. He said it as a joke to annoy Mayweather. He might have been a little too conservative. And Haddon's in trouble again. Final 10 seconds of round one, and Haddon's down for the second time here on this The movement of Pacquiao keeping Haddon in trouble. Manny Pacquiao never fails to surprise me with what he brings to the table. It's always a little better than I thought. But he is the best fighter in the world right now. He just cemented his legend. Tonight, a fight of this magnitude. You have to go back to when Muhammad Ali was 33 years old and had a 15-round unanimous decision as the knockdown is scored here in round number three. Pacquiao gets to Matisse. It's an uppercut, a left uppercut right up the guard of Matisse. Having some moments in this round. Oh, that got to him. He takes a knee after Pacquiao lands. Second knockdown of the night scored by Pacquiao. What a turn. Uppercut again, and he puts him down again. Pacquiao floors him a third time. Pacquiao has done it. Knockout victory at his return fight. How about it? Knockout victory. The Puerto Rican crowd has gone silent. Stinging oh, combinations and Kenny Davis calls it a round knockout. Taken out by this man, Pacquiao. Too much speed, too many shots. Kenny Bayless realized it in the end. Pacquiao coming, landing strong shots. Bayless jumped in. He didn't want to see Cotto take any more punishment. Just too many shots. It really wasn't any harder or more dramatic than any of the other punches, but Kenny realized that enough is enough. First two fights, solid left hand, backs Morales up, crowd loves it. And unlike some punches, Manny does have head movement. Yeah, that was, a, it was almost a little of a little error on Proud, where he punched at the body and then comes up on top. Eric Morales, not afraid to fight with one of the most. And the brave heart of Morales holds up, but his legs go again. Third knockdown of the fight. Well, Let's take a look at some replays. Man, his name is Emmanuel, too. <laughs> his real name. <laughs> yeah. It's just everything. It's just too much of an attack, the intensity, the fury. The wrong thing for an agent fighter. It's hard to uphold precision and craft when yeah. a guy is just overwhelming you. And he punches good with both hands now. He used to be with a simple one-two puncher with a straight left. Now he does a right hook, uppercuts, everything. Now, shortly after this second knockdown, if the camera angle shows it to you, you will see, exactly as Larry Merchant said, Eric Morales stares into the corner and looks at his father. Well, that's the same look that I said before that I saw when he went down the last fight. Even though he said it wasn't from a punch. And I saw the same thing with Arturo Gatti. And that's the worst look at the else when they say, I'm done. Get up and losing the round to Pacquiao. He needs some uh, to get the momentum back. Bradley touches the canvas with his foot. Straight left followed by a right hook that landed right, right on the chin. Uh, he was up in the air, kind of off balance too. But Good right. He's creating openings for Bradley by mounting his up. An effective one too. Nice a hard left hand by Pacquiao. That hurt Bradley. Yeah, that's a good time. And down goes Bradley for the second Pacquiao knockdown. Jeff came in, kept his head in the same place as the attack, didn't move out, let no pockets on, and bam, got count with the left. That hurt him. And then here comes Pacquiao. We know Pacquiao is one of the best finishers in the business. Followed the shot with a looping right up, a left uppercut and set him down. Jim highly off balance when he, when he came with this looping shot. He was off balance right there, and Pacquiao just threw the shot because he knew Tim was off balance. Pacquiao missed badly with the left hand and was able to get stronger as the fight goes on. The right one, they're getting ready to throw that lick. I'm surprised that Tim Lee's off an excellent seventh round and lands yet another short left hand. Hey, hey, round seven was 
about 90 percent Manny Pacquiao. There's a big left hand. You see that it's uh, created a cut uh, in round six over the out. Uh, they have controlled it for the moment. You know, and I think they've run out of ideas in Solis's corner. Yeah. Gennaro, you know, we were both listening, and uh, they've invoked the uh, the family. He's in trouble, and down goes Solis. You know, like it was that lip up and that drop. He's, he's oh, not going to make it. He's not going to make it. Ocho, nueve. There goes that up and again. He's hurt. He's out. Oh, it's it. It's, it's over. over. Solis sent down for the second time. Cinco. He is. Yes. On the eighth yes, of the ring. Ocho, nueve, yes. He's not going to beat the count. Yes. Beat the count. Manny wow. Pacquiao. After a first knockdown here, Gennaro. This is the first time that he was sent to the canvas in this yeah, round. He, he got him hurt right there, and then there's a, there's a right uppercut. I thought it was a lip, but it was a right uppercut that kind of stung him. Here. And there's the end of the fight again. Double left. There's a, a straight right and a left to finish it off. Manny Pacquiao's power comes to Tremendous straight left hand shot for Pacquiao. Diaz falls into his arms. If the idea here is that there's some honor in allowing David Diaz to finish the fight, that would be a very misplaced instinct. It's, it's not worth it. There's plenty of honor for Diaz tonight. It won't be in some way embellished by letting him go to a bloodier, more brutal finish. How many more? Down he goes, and Dracula stops the fight. He should have never got to that. Light ball. Right here. Here you see Pac Atlanta, beautiful short left cross right over the shoulder. Diaz never even saw the punch. Jab, left hand, good night. Merciful. Finally, the merciful knockout we were talking about. Yes, it was. First place. Right on the chin. Through eight rounds, the three judges' scores were 80 to 71, 80 to 72, 80 to 71. Totally academic. Freddie Roach told him to go in behind the double jab and followed him with the left hand. He did it twice in a row in the second one. Dropped Julio. This is some prospect, Bobby. To me, he's every bit as exciting as Prince Nassim Ahmed. He really is. He can punch. He can take a punch. He's aggressive. And he loves to fight. You okay? Second knockdown of Julio. No three knockdown rule in effect. I think Julio's going to have trouble finishing this round. I really do. Julio trying to fight his way back. A little grabbing and holding might be the thing to do. Pacquiao's just getting ready to swing away again. And Bill Clancy's seen it up. Devastating second round TKO for Manny Pacquiao. What a comeback from the missing in fluent in English, able to understand him. So we're not hearing from interpreters. Feeling as though he's in control yeah. against yeah. Emmanuel Lucero. And after that punch, good punch, good punch, he is totally in control. And the referee instantly stops the fight. He was out on his feet with a punch. I would even see it coming. He thought he was probably out of danger by getting that low. Gives you a pretty good idea as to how heavy are Manny Pacquiao's hands. Yes, and it's good focus and concentration, too. And the referee stoppage was aimed at protecting Lucero from another shot because Lucero was a sitting duck target there for oh, Pacquiao. Yeah. Pacquiao was timing his movement, and in just a matter of time, he timed exactly where he figured he would move his head, and he moved right into position. So Manny Pacquiao stretches his record to 37 wins, two losses, one draw. How long will he remain in the 122-pound division? When will he move up and look for big money against much bigger names? And well, here's his junior in Cancun, Mexico, last week. Straight left hand for Pacquiao. Marquez is moving. Timing yeah, hasn't timing been as up. good yes. as Juan Manuel Marquez. No, his timing doesn't seem like his confidence is not as good as it was. And Marquez.
Marquez is effectively using his feet. This is a late round rally for Pacquiao. But this can change back and forth from this right here. Down goes Marquez. Here you see the knockdown right here. Beautiful short left. And it would have been down again the second time except for the ropes held him up. And then he came back and stunned Pacquiao slightly bit in. <laughs>